For this warm up, you're going to need your barbell. And we will get to that in a second, but just make sure that it's nearby. Should take 10 to 12 minutes and get you very properly warmed up for almost any barbell related workout. However, make sure that you hit a few reps of the specific movements that you'll be doing in the workout if they're not included in this warm up. Okay, so Alex is gonna demo for me and start with a minute of general movement. So you just choose something that you can do for 60 seconds. It might be jumping rope, going for a little jog. If you got a bike or a rower, jumping jacks, toe taps, some hop overs, double under attempts, whatever. Um, but just do something from 60 seconds, not super high intensity, just getting your heart rate up. From here, 10 boot strapper. So take a squat stance and you grab hold of whatever part of your foot feels best, ankles, toes, floor in front of you, drop your head down low and then reverse that, drop your butt down, lift your chest up, push the knees out wide. So push your heels down as you lift your hips up. You're looking for a nice long uh, stretch through the hamstrings. And even as you're opening up the hips and the bottom, you can also open up the chest by lifting the chest up, trying to draw it forward and drawing your shoulders back. Pay attention on the hip up, head down portion of the bootstrapper and relax your neck, tuck the chin a little bit, and think about actually rounding your spine to get a little stretch all up and down the spine as well. So after 10 of the bootstrappers, we'll go five inch worms. So plant your hands as close to the toes as possible, walk them out into the top of a push-up. You might pause here just to make sure you have a strong plank position. Draw your shoulders forward as you lower down for a push-up, push back up, Hips go up and back, sort of a downward dog position, and then walk your hands back towards your feet. So you'll go through five of these. Make sure that you're breathing. Make sure that your core, your belly is staying tight the entire time. And look for any little opportunities in your body that you can get more aware of, that you can engage, or that you might feel some tightness that you would put a little more attention on with some stretching and that kind of thing. You can also go knee push-ups if the full push-up is not working out for you. Remember, this is just a warm-up. And if for any reason you need to, you can also just scrap the push-up part, walk out to the top of a plank, and then walk back. Make sure you're standing up all the way in between each rep. After the inchworms, we'll go 10 alternating Spider-Man lunges with the twist and reach. So take a nice deep low lunge, drop your back knee to the floor, elbow goes towards the floor, then twist and reach towards the ceiling. So alternate each time. Make sure that you're sending the hips forward. And as you twist, as you reach, as you drop the elbow down, the hips are not going back. Everything is still drawing forward and down. Also with the planted hand, make sure you're pushing that into the floor and that will help you get a really nice rotation through the spine as Alex reaches up. Great, so you'll go five of those on each side for a total of 10. After that, grab your jump rope, pick something else, but you'll go for another 60 seconds of general movement, just keeping the body warm, keeping the heart rate high, but focus on your breathing and don't let that get out of control. So go ahead, grab your barbell. And now we'll get into the barbell stuff. So slow RDLs, these are Romanian deadlifts. So unlock the knees slightly. From here, first things first, fire up the lats, pull the shoulders back, keep the belly tight. Slide that bar down to just below the knee. So you can see her hips go back as she hinges forward and then stand back up, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly and repeat. So five slow RDLs. And at the bottom of your fifth one, you can go just below the knee with the bar and then from here, drop your hips down, lift your chest up. So we'll go to the, the setup for a deadlift position. Cool. And then from here, five deadlifts. What I want you to think about is a vertical bar path. So that bar is on an elevator, just going straight up and straight down. So you can see as Alex stands and as she lowers, the knees get out of the way. And the way that happens is by pushing the hips back 
and forward on the way up. Last one, notice hips and shoulders rise at the same time as she stands. From here, you'll grab the bar, uh, bring it up and over to your back rack. Kang squats. A Kang squat is a combination of a good morning and a back squat. So I would take your squat stance, belly tight, chest up, all that good stuff. Unlock the knees slightly. Start to hinge forward, push the hips back, keep your belly tight, keep lifting that chest. From here, drop into the bottom of a back squat. I said drop, but I don't mean drop, lower slowly. From here, back to the bottom of a good morning and then stand up all the way. So it's kind of some different components here. So you would hinge forward and then lower down, push the knees out so you can see the knees are in line with the toes, back to the bottom of that good morning and then stand. Once you go through five of those, nice and slow, we will just get into back squats. So from here, five back squats. Think about keeping the heels down and the chest up. And again, we want that vertical bar path. So Alex, if you just uh, turn a quarter turn to your left, so you can see if you draw a straight line down from the bar, which is on her traps, it stays right over the ankle. We want the bar to stay right over mid foot or to the ankle the whole time. So whatever you need to do to make that happen, shoot for that. And then after that, since we've got this on your back rack, we'll go with some uh, elbow rotations or elbow raises. So alternate, bringing that right elbow as far through as you can, as high as you can, and then switch sides. So go nice and slow. And you can think about firing up the lats here to help you with that. You're gonna get a stretch to the triceps, which is great. But if you engage the lats, that will actually help you get a little bit more rotation. So 10 total, five on each side. From here, pop that bar back over to your front rack. Five strict presses. So try to get as much of a full grip on that bar as possible. So you can see Alex is gonna pull her chin back and out of the way to clear a vertical path for that bar. And again, straight up and straight down is what we're shooting for. Belly stays tight, quads are engaged, glutes are engaged. Think about upper body movements as starting in the lower body. From here, five push presses. So it's a little dip and drive. So this should be fast, it should be explosive, but I'm gonna have you just pause in the dip on one. Heels stay down, chest is up, bar is still over midfoot. So make sure you hit that position in your dip and then explosive drive up and overhead and of course still pulling the head out of the way. And once you go through five push presses, we go five push jerks. So dip, drive, and drop. All you're gonna add is that little drop under the bar. So you can think about jumping and landing. And as you jump, you're pressing your body down into that landing position. When you land, let's do one and pause in the landing. When you land here, bar over midfoot, knees in line with the toes, and she's really pushing up on that bar out of the shoulder. Go ahead and stand up all the way and then bring the bar back down. So from here, keep that bar on your front rack and five front squats. So belly stays nice and tight, knees track in line or even maybe a little bit wider than the toes, elbows super high. So this may not be realistic for everybody, just do your best, but you can see she's got this loose fingertip grip on the bar and that is definitely an option. In a perfect world, maybe you have a full grip, but totally okay to just have it in the tips of your fingers. We want that bar to rest high up on the shoulders, again, so that it can stay right over the middle of your foot. So that covers a good bit of barbell movements. If there's anything that we did not cover that is in your workout, make sure that you hit a few reps of those or even do a practice round of your workout before you start. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jeff. Have a good workout.